Hi, I'm Goose, and welcome to Color Theory in Minecraft. Today, we're going to be talking about hue and saturation. Hue is a different way of saying color or shade. So everything along the bottom is a different hue. Blue is a different hue than green. Yellow is a different hue than red. Saturation is talking about how intense or vibrant a color is. We have very high saturation on the bottom and low saturation on the top. Now, it's important to remember that hue and saturation don't necessarily affect value. Remember, value is how light or dark something is. For example, we have light blue concrete and light gray concrete. Now, both of these are different hues and they're different saturations, but if we go to black and white, you can see that they're almost the same value. We use words like hue and saturation to describe the differences between specific colors. This can apply to groups as well as individual blocks. So right here we have four groups. We have red, cyan, orange, and yellow. Each one of these is a different hue than the other. Yellow is a different hue than orange. Cyan is a different hue than red. But the same principles apply to each one of the blocks in each group, because obviously netherrack and polished granite are not the same thing. For example, netherrack is darker, so it's a lower value, and the color's pretty intense, so it's a high saturation. Whereas polished granite is light, so it's a high value, but there's not a ton of color in there, so it's low saturation. This can be done for any one of the blocks in the game, and really anything you see anywhere. Now over here, I have a collection of red blocks. The redstone block right here is going to be my center of red saturation. This red that we have along the edges is as saturated red as you're going to find in the game. That is red. If we go to our left, we're going up in value, meaning it's getting lighter, and we're going down in saturation, meaning it has less color. If we go to the right, we're going down in value, meaning it's getting darker. We're also going down in saturation, meaning it has less color too. Something that is higher value and less saturation is a shade. Something that is lower value and lower saturation is a tint. Adding white makes a shade, adding black makes a tint. Now over on this end, we have polished blackstone. And at first glance, it looks like it's black and gray, but when you really get in there and look, you can tell it's mostly purple and a little bit of blue. This is a great example of how saturation is relative, just like value. Meaning in relation to the things next to it, it looks like it's black and gray and has no color. But if you really get in there and look compared to something that actually is gray, that's got quite a bit of color in there. Now let's say you're working on a build and you want to transition from yellow to blue. Usually the easiest way to do that is just to use green. But what if you don't want any green in your build? Well, messing with the saturation can help us do that. We're going to start with yellow and we're going to lower the saturation until we get somewhere around gray. High saturation, low saturation. And then we're going to go from the low saturation gray back up to blue. Now we have a transition from yellow to blue without any green in the middle. Granted, this is a pretty big gradient, but you can always pick and choose and just use a few of these. Like we'll try just the yellow concrete, sand, clay, and ice. That looks pretty good. We can even throw the blue on there at the end if we want. That's a pretty good gradient right there. So this series is a very basic overview of these principles. There's a lot that we didn't cover here, uh, but lucky for you, there are some other people that go very in depth. For example, here's a great Minecraft color wheel by Goopy25. And this over here is an awesome video by Nice Name on YouTube talking about color spaces in Minecraft. I really recommend checking it out. It's really, really interesting. But I want you to take just a couple principles that we talked about here today and apply them to a build. Do something small, little experiment, doesn't have to be too much. Um, but I'm going to put a link to my Discord down below, and you can come in and share it, ask some questions, say hey, whatever you want to do. I would love to see you there. So thank you so much again for checking this out. Make sure you subscribe because we have a lot of other topics to go over, and I'll see you next time. See ya.